Welcome back to another of Mr. Marco Studio 001 video of how do you make a PowerPoint game with PowerPoint and um, this is part 2 if you didn't watch part 1 um, you can just go to my videos in my and this will be in a playlist so you can just go to part 1 automatically and yeah so right now we've made the loading screen, the menu, the what happens when you press the instructions button and what happens when you click the exit button and we put hyperlinks in it and right now we're going to do what happens when you press the play button and the inside of the game. But before we do that let's just save our game. Let's save it as now skip and click save it's better to save your work before um, doing anything else okay so now you want to duplicate any of these slides and then you'd want to say loading game as if it actually is loading delete these you don't need this and go to the menu um, um, yeah, the menu. Right click on play and then make it go to slide 6 to show this. You will say something like um, loading game, make the transition to none, maybe fade, something like that. I'll just do push. Whatever you want, make it so like maybe two seconds after, duplicate it, but make it none. And then you can say something like um, adding obstacles, and then we'll duplicate it again. Make it say um, coloring. See, Coloring. I'm using the Australian and English spelling. I'm coloring screens, and it's not that good, but and then maybe saying feeding your mouse with cheese. I know it's a little funny. And then press and then save it. Press F5 and let's see what it does. Welcome to Mouse Game. Click the button below to start instructions. Okay, I gotta exit. No, not yet. And play. Loading game. Adding obstacles. Coloring screens. Feeding a mouse with cheese. Now if you want to make it sort of like more like a game actually loading, you can maybe make that more loading, um, like maybe that, something like that. So when you put shift F5, loading game, adding obstacles, but then it sort of looks like it's taking really long just to do that. So basically if I do like, Six, no, five seconds, and then maybe like six. So then it actually looks like it's actually really loading. See, that was quick, and then adding obstacles takes a little long. Column screens takes a little longer, and feeding a mouse will take the longest. And then you want to duplicate this slide you can maybe do here another transition and then you want to delete all that and then maybe make some sort of light um, like something like that some sort of catchy background but not too catchy and then you'd want to draw rectangles like this align it to the center 
make it have no outlines make it like white this white copy and paste it again right above it make another one so like I'm actually like making like some sort of pass so here you want to go there then go there and there like that and then copy and copy that which is not that and then you copy this and then you want to make it go all the way up and then let me see and then so it's so like you want your mouse to so press shift f5 so you want your mouse to go like that like that like that like that and then here we will do obviously so in transitions you make it to none so then when you go to loading game loading the game adding obstacles color screens I actually like this font feeding a mouse with cheese hope he likes it and then there it is or maybe you should do something like I like that and it looks nice but if you are using 2007 it won't do so be warned like 2007 won't really do this that will just do something like fade or something by default so if you're using 2007 just make sure that you have better vision okay so I'll just change the background to that. I'll just fix this one, two, three, four, five to make it in the middle. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. Here. So now we want to duplicate this. But first, we can just so press Control while you're clicking all of this, and group them together to make one object. Maybe put a shadow or something to make it stand out. And then duplicate this slide. But then put something like a screen saying. Like here. In different. Probably in white. Yeah. And then in. This font, uh, you died. This is what happens when you're dark. When you dark, so text box top could be bigger. In here, so that's a hero. So that's 18, and that's 24. 24, and that will be 18. So. I'll press Ctrl A, so which makes it into a line to center. Then, um, oh no, you died. Ctrl Y. Click, play again. Two again. Or press. Now click exit to exit again. And then you'd want to make buttons. So these two buttons. Then paste it here. Why something like play again? And here, exit. And then you can remove the hyperlinks because you don't need. 
and for this you can leave it because you can press that then let me see then one two make it go to the exit one this so press shift f5 oh no you die click play again to start again or click exit to exit game so exit and then you say so and then just start again if you want that or you can just insert action and then you can enter so no no transition so press shift f5 exit or just exit and play again we'll hyperlink it to slide 10 so like this just space play again space space yeah. and then that make the obstacles and stuff like that oh first just make some sort of black box over it format shape make it to transparency to 50 um, sketch for level no, no. bold in shadow no shadow no shadow okay and then animations will have some sort of goes that way after previous effect options so maybe you make it 0 0.25 0 0.25 to make it maybe here 0 0.25 level 1 and then add animation fly out after 0 0.25 0.25 to the right so it will look like that but we want to delay it to like 3 seconds and then it will look like this level 1 maybe make it 2 seconds and transitions after and here none so just go here shift to five then level one maybe I'll just make it actually three delay to three okay level 1 and I am ready and then you might want to make a fade and then you would want to make some sort of spikes or something which is dangerous and shouldn't touch maybe make it like red And then you want to make insert action to slide mouse over, which is something like when you go over it, um, to so when you hover over it, it should go to slide 12. Okay, okay, make some here. make a little hard not too hard hopefully you make it too hard and then sh um, shift f5 level 1 okay so no hovering over 
Oh, I actually touched it. Play again. This should take me to this 11th slide. So then, shift F5. Yes. And then go touch it. Oh, play again. Oh, play, touch the. Okay, so try making your own thing, something like that. This is a really quick version, but try something like that, and I'll see you on the next video and continue making this. But right for right now, see you later.